a night at the Chinese fishing nets of Fort Kochi. The most capturing thing here is the fishman. Those are some very remarkable squids. I will be thankful that I cannot upload the smell. What is happening here is that a guy is choosing a fish for me, which will be my okay. dinner. Good size. Yes. Butter and lemon. Okay. Butter and lemon, okay? Pepper. Pepper. Pepper is good. Okay. Salt, pepper, butter, lemon. Okay. Okay. Those are some chips being prepared. And that is my cook. My fish being cooked. And that is my cook. Say hello. Yeah, Thomas <laughs> Cook. Thomas Cook. And there it is, my fish. It was not as exciting as I expected. The next day I did some sightseeing. There's not much to see, but one remarkable thing in Cochin is the presence of a religious minority that you would not expect in India. This is Jew town in Cochin. Yes, this is one of the two houses still, still lived by... Oh wow, 1761. Still uh, with a Jewish family in it and everybody else has moved to Israel or has died out. I'm at the Jewish synagogue. I just come from, an in, from a Jain temple and um, it is just weird and incredible and somewhat amazing that all these religions are here together. A few inches later... Tonight they've taken a sleeper bus which might have been a mistake. Anyway, it's early in the morning and I am in my soul. Well, that's a job. Copying. This is the thing that I started appreciating in Indian cities. The blend between rural and urban life. The old and the new. The presence of the dirt, but also of palaces. Here I felt really in India. I saw or of which existence I discovered playing video games. And it's palace. ta da ta 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 da ta Ta -da, history, history, finally some history. A part of being very pretty, the palace gets lit at night, in special occasions like my visit. Now back to the chaos. I think that those stands sell old newspaper. Anyway, this is the bazaar. Let's see how it's inside. Plates made out of leaves. Okay. All right, and then you swing it. Wow. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, bye. Any words needed? I don't think so. Anyway, after this it was time to find a quiet spot. The Tipu Sultan Summer Palace doesn't look great from the outside, but inside it's incredibly beautiful. Not one inch is left empty, everything is decorated and uh, unfortunately I couldn't film inside, so Google it. Now let's go and see where this Tipu Sultan has been buried. Stunning, peaceful and fascinating. This place will be remembered as one of my favorites. But the amazement was far to be over. 
after quite some more travelling around in buses through an arid but surprisingly capturing countryside, I met with Marina and Marieta, two very nice Mexican ladies who offered me a ride in their car. We really are in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> Our destination were the Belur and Halibut temples. Oh, yes, right. We are at the Belur temple with Marina and Marieta who gave me a, a ride on the car. And we are most amazed, aren't we? Yes. It is truly incredible. Another amazing deity in the Indian pantheon, the pig faced god. Yeah, it's a pig with multiple arms. The sun is setting, and this is just like one of these things you see in travel agencies. It, it, is, it is really incredible. I have, I have no words. Now to Halibut Temple. Right, thanks. With the same crew. I don't know what to do because it's just so much. I don't know how to, to put it all, put it all inside or here. Still I tried because it was mesmerizing. Also some representations were quite curious. For example, what is this man doing with a telescope 400 years before its invention? Now to some cultural entertainment. So it's quite a graphic story. Uh, this is a reincarnation of Vishnu and he's killing a demon by smashing his uh, head and you can see the eyes popping out. At the same time another demon comes to help the first demon but he gets pierced by a spear and you can see the tip getting out of his chest. So it's, um, it's quite violent really. In this episode of Vishnu's adventures um, we have him as half lion, half human, and he is uh, tearing one demon's face of the skull. You can see the eyes that popped out. So, yeah, yay, Visnu. Be nice to Visnu. These places were just amazing, and the people I visited them were too. I cannot bring you a fraction of what it means to be here a part of this last pitiful attempt. So here's a sunset. Easy, photogenic and arguably as beautiful. See you next time!